Ah, catalogs better on the iPad than in hard copy. We got special K, Katie Barrett herself, to, jo to join, to weigh in with us from Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I, too, get catalogs in the mail. They usually go straight in the bin. Um, so what, um, what did you find when you looked at catalogs on the web? Yeah, so I think it's funny. Catalogs are one of those things we just throw in the trash, like you said. But a lot of times, sometimes it, you can sit down and relax and look through a catalog and get updated on, you know, new trends or things for the home. So you might want to take a peek at them, but you don't necessarily want them cluttering up your coffee table. So this is a way of compiling all of your catalogs that come in there for free in one place. And I looked at three different apps. One of them was Google Catalogs, which uh, compile some 200 different brands and like 850 catalogs in the app. So you can page through and see all sorts of things. You can favorite things that you really like. Uh, you can send those to friends of yours. And it's really well done. I, I really enjoyed using it. So one of the things, Katie, that I actually like about regular catalogs is that you don't really have to think about updating them the way you might need to update an app. They just kind of show up and you either look at them or throw them out. I mean, how easy is it to um, kind of have that feeling of serendipity using an app or the apps that you tested? Yeah, good question, Jennifer. I think that these apps do a really nice job of sorting by brand mm -hmm. or by category, say shoes or jewelry or home or gadgets. So you can just click on one of those and instantly your screen fills with all sorts of covers of different names and different brands. So you can kind of just discover things you didn't know existed. You know, Dean and DeLuca has a catalog, which I never knew before, or Sky Mall, which you can usually only find on the plane and is suddenly available on your iPad. And uh, things like Neiman Marcus's book, which is this incredibly sought after catalog that a lot of people like looking through. So it's really fun to be able to look at those things. And I think there is more serendipity and more discovery possible with these apps. So how is this different fundamentally from, say, me going to the Jay Peterman site on the web and, and sort of scrolling through that when it's on the iPad? What's, what's the fundamental difference in your, in your view? Yeah, that's a really great question. And I think people forget, you know, there is such a science to the way the newspaper is laid out or the way a catalog is laid out. It's done in a way that is designed beautifully and it's meant to engage you as you page through, as you go through more and more and more pages. You're looking at different scenes, you're looking at different uh, people or different activities. It's really well laid out. There's a lot that goes into that. So when you're in a catalog, it's much more enjoyable to page through, even digitally, than you would be doing so on a website where you just kind of scroll and scroll and you search for the thing you want, then you click and you scroll again. So this is much more sit back, relax, and hold your uh, tablet, your iPad, your Kindle Fire, your Android uh, tablet, whatever you have in your hand on your lap and relax and look at it. So the one problem I will say that doesn't get solved with these digital tablets is that if you want something and it's no longer available, it won't automatically be taken out of the catalog, which would be really nice, right? If you have this digital advantage of looking at all these things, why can't they take the item out if it's no longer available? So that's one of my downsides, but otherwise they're really cool. So really quickly, Katie, um, what were the uh, things that these apps brought to the table that uh, you wouldn't get uh, in a regular catalog in terms of you know, interactivity, uh, sharing, that kind of thing, like the, the extras that you really noticed. Yeah, so one of the things in Google catalogs, you can create a collage of all of your favorite items. So say you're redecorating your home, Simon or Jennifer, and you want a room that's blue, and you want to go around different catalogs and collect blue items or things that might blend well with that. You can tag all of these favorites and then make a collage of all of these items. You can then share that publicly with other people who use the app or share it with friends via email. Um, there are really great ways to link directly through this catalog onto the website and the website pops up right within the app. So you don't have to go out separately to Safari to buy something. It's all built in right there. So it, it saves a lot of steps. 